Welcome from Messages from the Jungle. Not to recognize if you are studying or working with the, the right mentor, uh, the right spiritual teacher, uh, the right guru, or guide, whatever you want to call it. There are three things to explore. Um, first, there is the teacher. Then there is the path, and then there is the goal, which is actually the source. The, the teacher point the fingers to the moon. The teacher is the teacher, obviously. The finger is the path. The moon is the goal. It's to understand a few things first. Spiritual teachers are mirrors. They will keep pointing in your life what you need to learn and grow to look within. It's almost like a relationship where you see each other mistakes in, each, in somebody else's person. A spiritual teacher will create a context in your life for you to learn what you need to learn. Uh, the expenses of the spiritual teacher. I remember uh, one time this minister, he left his ministry because it wasn't growing. So he just left. And when he left, everybody realized how great he was. They started to grow and eventually they chased him down. I remember this yogi from India judging him because he was over 300 pounds um, I saw him coming out of a fast and eating uh, three pizzas with such a voracity uh, without awareness and I thought myself how can a yogi uh, do anything like that and yet I learned a lot from him I have to say probably changed my life. I remember going to the ashram in India, Sai Baba, everybody told me he's a pedophile, he does this, he does that. My experience was great actually, I got a lot of healing and the ashram was, ashram was, uh, was amazing. The problem is when you see a guide or spiritual teacher as the source, as the goal, spiritual teacher is a human being the only one that was blameless free or wrinkles candidate complete purity was Jesus Christ spiritual teachers are human beings they make mistakes but often they can see what you cannot see and so they create the situation the circumstances for you to grow and learn uh, his expensive or her expensive you might dislike them for years and then you realize that you had to learn something about yourself to recognize if someone is a true spiritual teacher or not it's by the fruits you recognize a good tree by the fruits if you want to see if it's an orange tree you have to see the fruits that the tree gives so if you receive fruits from this teacher what does it mean? If you are able to come in out of your addictions, if you are uh, getting healthier, if you feel more confident, if you feel more inspired, if you find talents inside yourself that you didn't know you had, if you feel that you function better in the society, uh, if you feel that uh, you're transforming, you're changing for the better, if you're changing in, uh, if you see yourself better inside yourself, and be a better human being. Those among the fruits. If you get fruits, he's the right person. Then there is the path, the fingers. Don't focus on the path. Follow the path. Don't focus on the finger. Some people get stuck on the finger. You have to go your way yourself. So follow the direction of the finger but don't stop at the finger. Keep going on the moon. 
any spiritual teachers that that tells you that they are the source for your salvation, for your transformation, for your change, are not the right, the right people for you. You have to do the work yourself. The spiritual teacher cannot go with you. He can only guide you. But you have to go yourself. You have to do it yourself. If you have fruits, keep going. If you don't get any fruits, move on. Why waste your time? A guide, a teacher, is like a, a bottle of juice. Drink the juice. Don't focus on the bottle. So if you get those fruits, keep getting them. But if you don't, move on. Eventually, you will find the teacher within yourself. <laughs>